Okay, here we are, Friday afternoon. Everybody just left for lunch and I'm just here by myself and I just had a thought to myself, a good tip for Friday afternoon about taxidermy and tanning is I got this beautiful soft tanned uh, wolf hide here. Um, this particular one is uh, not getting mounted. He's got the cartilage removed out of the ears. Everything's nice and soft. At Orion, we strive to make sure our soft tan hides are beautiful. Like you can see this thing's like a chamois. Um, it's beautiful. It's oiled well, it's gonna last forever. Um, but I want to talk about if this hide is hanging somewhere. Say you were to find this somewhere and it was for sale and had a price tag on it. The most important thing when you're buying it is what are you doing with it? If you're going to leave it hanging like this, that's fine. It'll last forever. It'll be good. Nothing changes. But if you plan on I'm going to do a life size or I want to do a rug on it or I want to do something amount out of it. If it's the golden rule, if it's been tanned and in the air for more than a year, what happens is the hide becomes very, if you wetted this down after a year, it'll become brittle and you'll acid swell and it'll crack up and fall apart and you can't mount it. So make sure that if you've got this beautiful hide that you want to mount, ask the person how long it's been tanned. And if it's been a year, I'd leave that thing hang. You know, it's a beautiful hanger, it ain't gonna mount it. You can't do it. So don't, uh, you know, don't spend your money if you don't wanna, you know, know what you're spending your money on. If it's been under a year, we can easily soften that. But if, if you, if you tanned it and got it back from me right away and it's tanned and you can't afford to get it mounted right away and you want to mount a few years, I would put that dry tan just like this in the freezer in a bag and then it'll never, it won't change state in those few years. So then you're fine. But when I do a life size on a bear or wolverine lynx, whatever type of species, I make sure that we wet tan the hide because then we don't have to tumble the hide so much to break this down to get this so awesomely soft and you get a bunch of pigment lost around your nose, it's hard on the nose, it's hard on the claws, it's hard on everything. So we put it through a wet tank process. It's still tan amazing, but your result's gonna be better in the life size balance. So I always go with a wet tan hide for a mount, but it's not like you can do it if it's tan, dry tan, but that's just my preference. Um, and that's something you should talk to your tax service about, about how they like it before they do it. So um, just thought it was a good tip, because I, I hate seeing guys always bring us stuff in, they want us to mount, and then it, it's not able to do it. And, and then they spent money on something that they didn't understand in the beginning. So, and that means a lot. So have a great weekend all, and we will talk to you next week.